A lot of dangerous drugs are about to hit the street. The DEA is worried about a large number of pharmacies looted during recent riots, something the agency calls an organized effort. KCALMI's Lori Perez has more. DEA agents are still in the process of taking reports, but already they know looters took massive amounts of prescription drugs. Um, they knew what to target, they knew who to target, and they got in, they got out. As dozens of looters ravaged his Long Beach Independent Pharmacy, Luke Vu watched in agony from home via security camera. In minutes, he says the crowd destroyed what it took he and his wife years to build and unleashed a dangerous amount of prescription drugs. He says they stole upwards of $30,000 worth of controlled substances. Codone, oxycodone, uh, Norco, Xanax, um, you name it. They, they took everything. Vu's 10 pharmacy is one of at least 177 pharmacies in LA and Riverside counties. The DEA says looters targeted during recent protests. Agents have only started working with operators to take inventory of what's been taken, and it's stunning. It's a bit scary so far, I'll be honest with you. 500,000 doses uh, missing, and that's about with one third reporting. 500,000 doses missing of what are some pretty powerful controlled substances. The DEA has taken reports from just 54 pharmacies with more than 100 pharmacies to go. He says the total amount taken and its potential could be devastating to efforts focused on America's opioid crisis. It's uh, horrible that, you know, a situation like this happens to put more of the drugs out there just when we've been kind of getting a handle on at least the prescription part of the issue. He says the illegal drug market has turned to counterfeit drugs over the past two years. Exposure to the real thing now could have a deadly impact. That's kind of my fear is people will buy these pills not knowing exactly what they are. Uh, their dosing may not be uh, correct. They may not. They may take more than than they should, and we could see an overdose problem as well. The DEA has seen this happen before in other parts of the country when pharmacies are targeted during protests. Special Agent Bodner says it's too soon to say that's what happened here, but he says there's no doubt drug traffickers see an opportunity and take it. In Studio City, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.